Hi everybody, so in video 1717 we took one of these, which is the cheap ceiling fan that is sweeping Asia and America at the moment for turning into wind generators and we discovered that actually in its original format it wasn't that great and it wasn't that great not because of the generator section the generator section was actually really exciting it was basically an alternator and was going to bring inexpensive to wind power but the bit that captured the energy was basically poop so what i want to do is make something that i think is going to be better i don't know if you remember this this is our part of our Savonius wind wall. We made 10 of these, put them in a wind wall, and we generated some energy. If you look at one section, you can see it's made out of two discs and these curved bits, which are bits of rainwater gutter. Handily enough, I have two discs left over. So this is a disc of, uh, well, Americans know it as Centra board. We know it as fissure and soffit or builder's board, and it's a product by Eurozel. It's PVC clad, it's a polyurethane foam, and it's supposed to be out there in all weathers for the next 25 years. So, nice material. It also glues with super glue. And I have some rainwater gutter left over. So what I'm going to do is take the inside of that fan that we took out in 1717 and then glue one of these to it, glue that to it, and glue a top to it, and we'll have an instant Savonius. And then we can take some measurements of it and see if we're actually getting something reasonable out there. Now, the world of wind turbines falls into two groups. Those who love vertical access wind turbines and those who love horizontal access wind turbines. And it's really like Lilliput. They argue about which end of the egg you should eat first, the big or the little. Truth is, the type of wind turbine you go for very much depends on your situation. There is no perfect wind turbine whatever anybody tells you so we're going to make a VAWT Savonius type stick it on here see what happens so let's do some gluing so it's dead simple I've glued that onto the middle I've glued my two bits of gutter there and now I can glue that on top Okay, there we go. That took all of 10 minutes to make, including stopping for coffee. So let's set it up like we did in video 1717 and see what we get out of it. Okay, so there we go. Now wind speed is 2.6, it's 14 centimetres high, 20 centimetres across, and at that kind of speed and height we should expect something around the region of 86 milliwatts. Now it's rigged up for amps, it's on the uh, LED load, and we're getting about 2.93 milliamps, somewhere around about that. So let's rig it up for volts. And there it is rigged up for volts, again on the same load, and we're getting about 12 volts or so. <laughs> cool. So somewhere about sort of 50, 60 milliwatts, which is pretty much what we were getting on the fan. So although we were getting a very similar result, you've got to remember that the wind speed was 2.6 meters. This is 14 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So the expected power output is 85 milliwatts. And we got about 50, 60 milliwatts. So we're pretty close to what we should have been getting. With the fan with that we did in video 1717, it was pants. We should have been getting 3.5 watts. We were getting 50, 60 milliwatts. So it was miles away. Now it was miles away, not because of this bit. Remember, it's split into two bits. There's this bit that collects the wind energy, and then it uses this bit to turn that wind energy into electrical energy. The capture of the wind energy in a ceiling fan is never going to be good. The capture of something like this is obviously very much better. Now I'm not saying, a Savonius type is the best type, by no means. I'm sure there are people who've got much better designs for the wind capture type. What I'm saying is, if you have a wind capture section of your turbine that is designed for wind capture, it's going to perform much better than something that's designed as a fan and not for wind capture. So, taking the generator section, combining with the better design, we got a much better result. Of course we did. And all I'm really showing is that this kind of generator section, this alternator style of section that we've got in these cheap fans, 
is actually doing really quite a good job. And of course, that's got to make you think, because that is three components, and really cheap and simple to make. It's made out of pressed steel. A normal generator has lots of components and is basically a pain in the neck to make and quite difficult to make and is expensive for those reasons. But here we've got something that probably costs two dollars. It's able to generate a reasonable amount of output and when we put this into a wind wall we're going to get a pretty good output from it. So this could well be the answer to cheap wind generation by looking at this alternator style of generator instead of the standard style of generator. So I would recommend, I think, that if you were looking at building your own wind turbine, you would look at this alternator style. Because, of course, with the ring magnet on the outside and that being a single coil, the fact it's that big or that big makes no difference. So we could make it around the whole rim and integrate it. There's just so many things that could be done with a style of generator like that that would be good, a good generator, but more importantly, a cheap to build generator bringing down that cost per kilowatt hour, which is the real challenge of wind generation. Anyway. I hope it inspired you. I hope that you've got some thoughts on what you might do with this. I would love to see what you're up to. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.